Good day YouTube, 1MJ here and welcome back. Alright, Sunday just after lunchtime here in Australia, market up ever so slightly. I think we're two actually I think it's down a little bit, wasn't this 2.33 trillion? So anyway, above 2 trillion, which is really good, and 2.3 trillion. So I think the maximum we got to a while ago was 2.7, 2.8 trillion, something like that. So look ever so slightly creeping upwards and it is the weekend so generally things are a little bit sort of quieter i mean bitcoin dominance 44 percent i'm wondering just how high this can go you know people are obviously getting a lot more excited about bitcoin right now bitcoin price still fifty four thousand. it really is just kind of hanging around there and we're really waiting to see what's going to happen tomorrow monday morning when the uh, market sort of open is it going to be you know the next leg up or is it just you know some more sideways action for a while that really is the question eth gas prices have come down a little bit which is quite nice that's always good uh gas prices are way too much in general but anyway you know we're still waiting on eth 2.0 all right so let's have a look we can see it's a bit of a max bag but look some things are doing quite nice i mean xrp eight percent dot ten percent and then you know we've got a couple down sort of one percent things like that what's done the best though in the last 24 hours in the top 100 of course right stacks that is one hell of a move 50 percent, and you can see they've come down a little bit from where they were so you know is that to do with the nfts and things happening uh through stacks on the side chain of bitcoin maybe uh clayton making a nice move as we saw polka dot quantum iota tezos xrp decred theta i mean look there's lots of really nice moves there and that's always good what about the flip side of the coin so what hasn't fared so well in the top 100 in the last 24 hours all right, Harmony down, Shiba Inu continuing to go down. Again, it had such a big pump, it's always going to happen. Filecoin, again, they had a pump a little while ago, so down a little bit. Terra Luna have had a, quite a stellar run for a while there, so likewise having a bit of a pullback. But the worst pullback is 10%, and you know Harmony did all right for about the week or so before. So look, none of these losses are really too bad, considering all of these coins were pumping, if not yesterday, at least in the last few days. So gains pretty nice, losses fairly minimal. Let's go have a look at the Bitcoin chart and see where we're at. Like I said, Bitcoin is just hanging around this kind of 54-ish thousand dollar mark. It goes down a little bit below, but doesn't really go uh, up above either. So again, just hovering at the moment. So we're, again, still just waiting to see if this kind of $52,500 level is going to hold. Or is it going to break? Or again, is this already the bump that we needed? So bump, very small move, up and down. And now again, we're still waiting to see exactly what this candle is going to do. Uh, yeah, waiting with bated breath, as they would say. Bitcoin doing its thing. Look again, I like that we're in this long-term upwards trending channel that we've been in for a while. That's what's got me most excited. And you can see that we really held that fairly well. And now we are holding that 52 and a half, or you know, let's just say sort of 53, what is it? 52,800-ish, it's hard to get right on there. Uh, yeah, 52,900, 52,800. We'll just round it to 53,000. We're holding that pretty well at the moment. So again, when Monday comes around, are we going to see the big push to the upside? <sighs> Fingers crossed. I'm hopeful that we will. All right, just a couple of stories I wanted to have a look at. Not too many because we don't get a lot over the weekends anyway. All right, more than 20 Chinese cryptocurrency uh, crypto companies are set to leave following the local ban. So again, China's really cracked down on cryptocurrencies over there. They are going to do everything they can to get all their citizens like right into the you know digital yuan that they're pushing out and don't get me wrong once they've got everyone onto the digital yuan they will start to open up crypto again they're not simply going to ban it completely they just won't do that they know there's too much upside i mean the chinese government you know they've got a big stash of bitcoin they just don't want their citizens having it at the moment until they're well well entrenched into the digital yuan and you know using that predominantly and then i'm sure they're going to open up uh, to the cryptocurrency space i could be wrong and maybe they don't that'd be really sad for the chinese people but at the moment cryptocurrencies they're going to really struggle over there so they will be moving offshore to sort those things out all right 
NFT space. I mean, this is just crazy. I still haven't got into the NFTs at all. I don't have one yet. You know, all the NFTs that I kind of like, uh, I just don't get in on sort of the pre-sale sort of things. And then you go into OpenSea and the prices are just so heavily inflated that I just can't yeah, kind of pull the trigger on it. I am looking a little bit more at OpenSea and maybe I'll be able to find some good ones. But again, I don't want to just invest in any old NFT. I mean, this would have been a great one to get involved. So Board 8 Yacht Club record, records, or records, sorry, not records, records 542 million in lifetime sales. I mean, it's amazing. Now they are looking to come out with their own talk token launch early next year. So there's not a lot of details on exactly what the token's gonna do, but they did basically come out and say, look, they don't wanna make a token just for the sake of having a token, and then also have a token that could not be compliant legally. So they are, they are trying to do their you know due, gel, due diligence, as they say, and make sure they come up with a good coin, uh, and it's you know compliant and all the rest of it. So for me, I really am waiting to see exactly what the coin does i mean you know I've, I've missed out on the board apes you know i'm never going to be in that well let's not say never who knows but i'm not going to be in there any time in the kind of you know too near future the prices of those are just absolutely i won't say ridiculous because look if people are buying them for that then that says that there's an appetite for those in the market but they're generally you know priced out of the average user and i still consider myself an average user i'm far from having enough to you know retire and anything like that but it just shows this nft space you know i, I tend to agree with some of the things that you know uh, alex becker says uh and elio trades you know i really do think nfts are going to be big you got to get into the right ones uh, i think nfts are going to be a lot like you know, cryptocurrencies in general, 99% of them, and there's over 10,000 of them, are going to be worth nothing. There might be a hundred or two that have some sort of real world value, and it'll be the same with the NFTs. There's going to be a couple that really will hold their value. Majority of them, you know, if you're buying them for 50 bucks, uh, and you know, they're just a bit of fun, all good. But if you're, you know, putting serious money into them, hoping that they're going to, you know, be worth even more in the future, Unfortunately, the sad news is only certain ones will do that. But I think Board Ape Yachts Club uh, and particularly CryptoPunks. I mean, you know, I would love to own a CryptoPunk, and one day maybe I will. That would be amazing. But are they? They are definitely way out of my price range. I, I, I wouldn't even be able to probably afford the gas fees on trying to buy one in all fairness but yeah just wanted to keep you up to date like nfts again i don't know a whole lot about them i'm still looking to you know find something to get in and get my first nft but yeah so far i haven't done it but gee i would have loved to have been on some of these things earlier and look at the crazy returns that they've made not that one board eight yacht club is worth 542 million but of the bunch that's how much money they've attracted in probably what a year less than a year that is uh, quite phenomenal. All right, that's it from me. Stay safe. Be kind to one another. Hopefully you're all on that game train. And I'll see you next time.